Thank you so much, Jay, for one of the best days ever. This was a really fun digital display that she and I enjoyed at the North Carolina Museum of Art. Jay's waving. <laughs> That's her. That is cool. Wow. What's the name again? So neat. Hey, everybody. It's Lynn from A Bit of Birdsong. Happy New Year. I can't believe it's 2022 and we are off to a running start. It is already January 2nd, 2022. Can junk journaling be practical. It really, really can. It can be one of the most practical things ever. You all know that I love to make these large, junky art journals where they really end up being on a shelf. Um, I do enjoy them. I take them down and look at them, and they're part of my art collection. But I also love to carry a planner, and I love to make my own planners. Uh, the huge planner... <laughs> It ended up being huge. The huge planner that I made for the month of December, I used it. I used the whole thing. I committed to it and I went ahead and carried it around with my journaling bag. I absolutely loved it. I happened to have it in my arms while I was checking out in a store at one point and the cashier said, what is that? She said, that is the most aesthetic thing I've ever seen. However, I have found that I love just having something like a four by six size that I can have with me all the time. With some of the work that I do, I wear an apron and the pocket is the perfect size to carry this. Well, I have three large pockets, which is really cool. So I can uh, keep things with me like this and in my downtime and on my breaks, I'm able to constantly have my schedule in front of me, my calendar for the month, but I also have all of these pages that I can just sketch onto, uh, I can write thoughts down, and I can also staple and glue little pieces of ephemera from just day-to-day -day living, and I do love that. I still have the planner bag with all of my markers, my glue. I, I grab that anytime I'm going out the door so that I have it with me in my vehicle if I want to sit and do any kind of planning or anything. But let's go back into this. You may remember this journal. I made it a while back and it's been on the shelf and it's just, it's a perfect size. It is actually starting to wear and fray a little bit from being put in my pocket and pulled out because I've been carrying this for about a week as I prepare for January. I went back into this and sewed two new pockets because I do like to have, I have extra pieces of paper. So these are some coupons that sit in the front for CVS. There's also a pocket in the back where I can put things that are relevant to my scheduling throughout January. One of the things that I love to do is take bits of paper, tags, things that just, you know, come from the universe on a day-to-day -day basis and glue those in or turn them into tabs. I love to have tabs on every page. So some of the tabs in this one came from a brochure at the North Carolina Museum of Art where I met Jay on the last day of 2021. Jay Hart is a friend that I met online a few years back as a channel. She has been very inspirational and helpful to me, and it was just delightful to get to meet her and spend a day with her. It's also nice to have little bits and pieces from, you know, from day to day to be able to put into your journals. And like this little thing, Jason's mother brought us a couple of really fine t-shirts. <laughs> And as I guess as the universe would have it, I'm not sure what the bear thing is. They both had bears on them. They're adorable. And I'm just working out this bear thing. If you've watched for a while, you know that my recurring nightmare for years was a bear. I still need to, to get to that and explain it in a little more detail. Jay, you might notice that little tray from the soup. I'm using it to sit my glue on until I figure out what to do with it. 
and this little piece of paper came out of a candle that Jay gave to me. If I'm out and about and I'm journaling away from my workshop, I keep glue sticks and a little stapler. I have a, an additional one with staples in a little bag that I keep in my journaling bag so that I can put things into the journal. You know, sitting here at the desk, I can work in this like a junk journal and use the glue. Now, this is so sweet. Jason's mom bought us a beautiful ornament for the tree. So this definitely has to go into the journal. And you know, the thing is, where do we want to put it? I think what I will do is staple it here and here and here. And then really that gives us a little pocket on that page. I love being able to incorporate things like this in a way that I can use them. We could really do the same with this big tag. I do like to leave space where I can write and plan out the day. So another thing that I could do, and let's go back closer to the day that we're currently on. What is today? The second. Today's the second, so let's get over here. Oh look, that's from the Barnes & Noble Cafe where Jay and I had a coffee. So I'm gonna turn over here to tomorrow and I'm gonna go ahead and put my masking tape on this. Let's put a piece on the outside and then a piece that's about the same size on the inside. I love masking tape. You can kind of see through it. It holds, uh, washi tape doesn't always hold. This is from a tag from something that uh, Jason's mom brought to us. So it was a really beautiful little pillow with a bird embroidered on the front and it's filled with, well, like it says, filled with fresh balsam fur. So it smells wonderful. I think I will just glue this in and make a little note about it. Let's let that sit. Jay, that's the washer. I found when we were walking through the parking lot. I love to be able to put found items directly into the book that I'm using. A few things about these small journals, they take up less space, which many of you already know, and many of you already use small journals primarily. Uh, I'm not gonna completely step away from the large journals. I do like to make large art pieces, but I think I have hit upon something that I love for my personal planning and my way of bringing junk journaling into my day-to-day -day life. And sort of like a diary, record keeping, scrapbooking, you can fit it all into the same journal. Now, I love that Hallmark has these sweet little calendars. They've been doing this since I was a teenager. Uh, the only thing I don't like, which, you know, I can't really complain because they give these away for free, is that you know, it's, it's printed on front and back, which makes it kind of hard to, you know, to tear these out and use them in a planner. Uh, that said, the whole thing could fit in here. And then, you know, you have a little date book with you all the time. This is a size that will fit in each subsequent planner throughout the year. So that would allow you to be able to write dates down ahead of time. You could make something like this or you know I think the Dollar Tree has tiny little calendars. Looking at today's page, yesterday you see the menu. This is a little part of a butterfly wing that I found yesterday so I just taped it in and wrote found today. Uh, you know this was the menu I had, things that I needed to pick up from the store. I do love being able to keep track of things that I need and write them directly into this and have them so handy and so close. I can look at the list. I know some people do things like that on their, their mobile devices, their phones. I just am not wired that way. Um, this I like paper. I like to write things out so that I can remember them. So I am going to write down a couple of things that I need to take care of today.
Anyway, I just wanted to share this. Uh, I'll make another one before February gets here and switch up. I am gonna add some things to the front of this. Um, it's become pretty frayed across here, but that's one of the things I love about junk journaling is just how alive a book becomes and it develops a personality. You can keep adding to it. It's just a wonderful thing. Thank you so much for watching. I have a Journal With Me series that I hope to release in the next week or so. Uh, I will be putting out a supply list soon, so stay tuned for that, and I hope everybody has a wonderful day. Bye for now.